Howdy guys. All right, so in this video, what I want to do is uh, show you guys an early preview package for Unity, uh, which is the Python for Unity package. And I'm really excited about this because uh, it opens up the opportunity to, for me at least uh, to hook up Houdini directly to Unity without having to use the Houdini engine. And while I love the Houdini engine, don't get me wrong, I think it's super cool. Uh, when you start working on you know larger pipelines and stuff like that, you really want to have um, a little bit more control. And this is what you know Python for Unity is really going to open up for us. And so in this video, what we're going to do is we are going to walk through installing Python onto our, our PC. I'm going to be doing it on Windows. Um, and then we're going to learn how we get the Unity for or Python for Unity package uh, installed into Unity because it's not in the package manager. And then we're going to learn how to start to work with um, Python inside of Unity. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to create a very basic um, custom inspector editor here, and uh, we're going to run some Python script with it. So uh, we write just a really uh, basic set of uh, Python for Unity, and then we use this button to run it. And what happens, let me actually do that one more time there, is it's going to print out all the names of all the objects in the current scene, all using uh, Python and a little bit of C Sharp too. So super cool stuff. Hope you guys are excited. Well, let's get started. All right, so the first step in getting a uh, Python for Unity all set up is to actually install Python. Now, you might already have this installed on your machine, but take note that um, Python for Unity currently does not work with Python 3. So if you go to this particular link right here, you can find the documentation for Python for Unity 2.0.1. And it specifically states that it does not work for Python 3. So you might have to install Python 2.75 um, or later for it to work. All right, and so um, if you just click that link, it'll take you to this particular page where you can go and download the installer. And what I'm going to do is download the Windows 64-bit installer. All right, so we're just going to click that link and download it. And again, I am working on uh, Windows only here, so you'll have to follow the um, in, uh, instructions for Mac if you are using a Mac here. All right, so once it's uh, downloaded, which happens really fast because it's a tiny... Um, executable. I am just going to double click it here and I am going to then walk through all of the uh, setup options here for you guys. And so I'm just going to install it for all users. This is my laptop. I'm pretty much the only user. Uh, I'm going to install it into the default uh, location. So C Python 2.7. Hit next. And it currently I did an uninstall my previous installation but there must have been some stuff left over. So we're just going to say yes. And we're going to go into the advanced, and we don't need to uh, do any of that stuff there. So everything is looking good. Going to hit next and let this install. Doesn't take very long. Now, one thing um, the documentation while that is installing says that um, you should actually check to make sure the um, option to add the path is on. Now, in the installer that I just downloaded, there was no option for that that I saw at least, so we'll have to make sure that we go into our environment variables and set that up um, manually, which isn't all that difficult at all. So let's see how our installation is coming here. Almost done. So I'll be right back once this is finished. All right, so that finished up. I'm just going to hit the uh, finish button. Now, I have tried this actually without actually adding it to the path and it worked just fine. I'm just going to go and show you guys how to do that really quick. So let's go to our environment variables. So I just opened up um, the Windows option here by hitting the Windows key on the keyboard and I'm going to go and edit the system variables and we're going to hit the environment variables button and then we want to go and find the path system variable and we want to edit that and all we need to do really is just um, add a new option here and that's going to be C colon backslash and then Python to seven I believe it is uh, if we go to our uh, C drive here really quick, we can always go and find out. It will be in our um, Python 2.7 right there. So what we're doing is we're telling Windows where the Python executable is so we don't have to type it manually. So we don't have to type this whole path. All right, so that looks good. Hit OK. And now if we were to edit our variables again, you can see we have a new option or addition at the bottom there. All right, very cool. So now, uh, if I just open up a command prompt here, <clears throat> we should be able to do a Python 
uh, dash version. And is it dash dash? Yeah, there you go, dash dash version. So that, that basically proves that uh, Python is now installed and our environment variable is all hooked up. All right, so the next step is to, um, and you don't have to do this, but I highly recommend doing it um, if you wanted to start to create um, a GUI application that connects your different uh, digital content creation packages like Maya or Max or Houdini um, to allow it as like a bridge basically to pass data back and forth between Unity and your DCC packages. All right, so let's take a look at that here in the next section here. All right, so the last step here on the Python side of things is uh, we should go ahead and install the uh, PySide module so we can um, look at the PySide example here. This allows us to create GUIs that control um, our DCC application, so we have a live link between the two. And so in order to uh, basically utilize this uh, package, which seems to be missing right now, that's pretty funny, um, we need to be using uh, PySide. So, uh, and we're not going to do that in this particular video. We'll do it later, later on down the road. But I just want to get it installed so you guys can see. Uh, so to do that, what we're going to do is launch a command prompt because we can install it from here. You can also do this in Visual Studio Code, but I'm just going to do it from the uh, command prompt. So you just do Python uh, dash m uh, pip, then install, and we want to install the PySide module. Now I already have it installed, uh, and so it's going to tell me that um, it's already satisfied. In your case, if you haven't installed it already, it'll run, run through. It doesn't take very long, maybe a couple minutes at most. And so once it's done, then you have all the um, requirements for Python for Unity. So at this point, uh, it's good to move on to the next step and get a new Unity project set up. And then we got to install the Python for Unity package um, manually because it's not a part of the package manager. All right, so let's take a look at that on the next step. All right, so go ahead and launch uh, the Unity Hub. This will allow us to create a new project. And so I'm going to create a new uh, Unity project for Unity 2020.1. Uh, I tested it out already, so and I know it works. And so I'm going to call this um, Unity for, or Python for Unity. Sorry about that. Python for Unity. And I'm going to hit uh, Create. And once that's done, I will be back. All right, so my project finished. Uh, being created and now so like I was saying before uh, it's the Python for unity is not in the package manager so if we were to open up the package manager here and try to uh, search for it in the new uh, pro or package manager I should say uh, let's go to unity registry and then we also need to make sure that we turn on our preview packages and if I were to look for Python there are no results and that's because um, it requires all this other, you know, setup. Um, according to what I read on the forums, at least, um, they are not going to be putting it into the package manager, at least not right now. So, um, in order to get it set up, uh, I need to shut down my Unity and actually add on to the manifest.json file. So we have to actually put this at the very top of our JSON file. So let me walk you through that. I'm going to open up my documents and go to my unity projects here so python for unity we'll go to packages and then we want to open up our manifest.json file so i'm going to open that with code and this is just one i have from a previous test so i'm just going to copy this line right here and there we go so i'll put that into the uh, description for the video all right so once you have that set up uh, we need to go back and launch our project so I could, could just come into this folder here and just launch the sample scene and what's going to happen is it's going to launch unity and then install the package because now the manifest has been updated all right and so once that is done I will be right back and there we go so now you can see we have this preview packages uh, displaying now so I'm just going to dismiss that also in the console you might see um, all these new errors here and the reason why that's happening is because it can't find the Python executable, even with the environment path set up. So if I were to go into my project settings now, uh, there's a new option in there for Python for Unity, like so. And this is the issue right here. I can't find that particular executable. So all we need to do is just point it to um, the folder. So I'm just going to set it there. 
It says restart Unity to use new Python. So I'm going to restart it one more time and be right back. All right, so I restarted and everything is good to go. So now if we go up to uh, Window and we go to our general option here, then you'll notice that there is a new Python console option here which is awesome. This allows us to type in, you know, really just tiny snippets of Python. So if I do something like print, um, hello, Python, and then do a control enter, you can see it pops right up right there. Pretty cool stuff. All right. So now we actually have the ability to, you know, write some Python inside of the unity editor. And that's really just the beginning. What we want to do now is we want to actually get a little bit better understanding of how we go about using uh, Python scripts inside of Unity. Now, I should say this is only an editor side thing. This is not for a runtime um, thing. It's really just for editor stuff and uh, tools and communication between uh, Maya, Max, or Houdini. All right. And so I want to do a couple things here. I'm going to go um, create a new folder and I'm going to label this Python and I'm going to put a bunch of Python scripts in here. And so what I want to do is go back to code over here and I'm going to close out my two manifest files here and I'm going to open up a folder and that folder is going to be the Python folder that I just made. So I'm going to go to my unity project and go into assets and Python and there you go. Awesome. So what we want to do is we want to start to uh, create some interaction between C sharp and Python and learn how to work with objects in the scene and stuff like that. So let's do that in this next step. So what we need to do is we need to create a Python file. So I'm going to come in here to my open folder. Uh, this is, remember, this is the folder inside of Unity. And I'm going to create a um, new Python script called log names. And what it's going to do is it's going to look into the scene and find all the game objects and then uh, log all of their names to the uh, console. And so the way that we get this to work so we first need to import the uh, Unity Engine module. So we say import Unity Engine. And I'm going to just um, cast it to a shorter name called U UE, just so I don't have to type out Unity Engine every single time. And I didn't want it to complete that. So UE, there we go. All right, so then what I want to do is down here, I want to find all of my objects. And so to do that, it's just like what you do inside of C Sharp, right? Um, and in this case, this is a very simple example, and I know you could probably, you could do this in C Sharp. This is just really to show you how you can start using Python instead of uh, Unity with the new preview package. And so I'm going to do uh, UE dot um, objects. Actually, it's um, object dot uh, find objects of type like so, and that type is going to be UE dot game um, object. All right, so just like in C Sharp, exit. We have to just utilize the UE module and then the classes inside of that. And so with that, we can do uh, for geo for game object in um, objects, like so. And all we want to do is just print their name. So I'm going to say geo.name, like so. Easy peasy. All right, so um, just know that you can access pretty much all of those C Sharp um, functions that we use, usually in our C Sharp scripts here inside of uh, Python, which I find really, really cool. Gives you lots of opportunities for different types of tools that you can make. So with that said, now we can come into that Python console and we can load up that file. All right. So I can load up log names like so, and then just do a uh, control enter and we get an error there. And it looks like, what is it telling me here? And it looks like it doesn't actually like the print in there. So let's go back to code here. Uh, we can actually do a uh, debug log. That's what I wanted to do anyway. So you say UE for Unity Engine debug.log and we'll do a geo.name and we'll save that. Let's go back to Unity and let's just clear out our code. Let's load the file now and make sure we fix the name here. And we're still getting that error there. And that is because I need that. And this is a capital. There we go. 
All right, so let's go back and fix all those guys in the code side of things. Just need to make sure my syntax is correct. There we go. Save that. And then let's test it out one more time. Let's clear our console here. I'm going to load this guy and do a control enter. Yeah, there we go. So now if I were to add um, a couple more objects in here, let's just do this really quick here. Okay, a couple boxes and just run that. You can see we get all those names printed out to the uh, console. So this is really cool, but I don't want to have to constantly use uh, the Python script editor to do this. What I really want to do is attach it to a tool, uh, some editor tool. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to hide this as well. So let's go and add uh, our editor folder so we can make an editor script here really quick. And I'll create... Uh, I just, I'm just going to do a really quick, um, let's do Python manager. I'm just going to do a really quick, uh, inspector. And then, so that's the C sharp script side of things. And then I want to do the editor script. So we're going to do Python manager editor like so. And I'm using my snake case for my C sharp files, not terribly or anything like that. It's just, I go back and forth between Python and C-sharp so much I get my syntax or my naming conventions all mixed up. All right, so I'm going to let uh, Visual Studio open here. I'll be right back. All right, so in the actual script, the game of, or the mono behavior, I'm just going to uh, remove everything. I'm just making a really quick inspector editor. I could have done a window as well. It just takes a little bit longer. Um, and then let's open up our editor and this needs to extend editor which means we need the uni unity editor namespace like so and we'll get rid of all of our built-in methods here and now what we want to do i am going to create a uh, target variable and so to do that i want to do the python manager call this uh, target manager is equal to target there's nothing like right off the bat so i'll do void on enable and then we'll populate that. So we're going to say target manager is equal to target, which comes with the editor namespace there. And we need to make sure we cast it to the appropriate type. And then we're going to do our uh, public override on inspector GUI. And I am going to add a button so we can launch our Python script without ha having to open up that Python console. Cool. And so all I need to do really, uh, just for this basic example, is create a button. So it's going to be our button and I'm going to call this uh, launch Python script and I'm going to add a height to it. All right, let's do that one more time there. So I'm going to do height and I usually put in something like 35 for this. Cool. So now we have our button. So now uh, we should get, we can just uh, log something here. So I just want to do a log and let's log something like this is working. All right. So let's go back to unity and get that all set up just so we can see our button. Cool. So let's create an empty game object. I'm going to call it the Python uh, manager like so. And then uh, drag and drop my Python manager onto that. And we actually need to go back to our editor script and we need to make this a custom editor. So we need to custom editor uh, type of uh, Python manager, like so. There we go. Now if we go back to Unity, we should see our button. And we just need to reselect it. There we go. Yeah, so now we're working. Very cool. So what we want to do now is we want to uh, lo click this button to launch our Python script, and it'll print out so we don't have to use that Python console. So if I come in here, we need to actually include um, a different namespace. So we need the Unity Editor dot scripting dot Python namespace for this to um, work. And uh, one thing we need to do, uh, let's get the application path. So I'm just going to do string uh, path is equal to application dot data path. All right. So that should give us the assets because remember our 
Python script is in our assets folder. So let's just uh, log the path just to make sure. Let's go back to Unity over here. And click that. Yeah, so now we have it pointing to assets. And so all we need to do is append on the Python and then log names.py file. Uh, because we are going to be using the Python um, file runner. And if you actually go to, if we come up here to the uh, documentation, yeah, we wanted to use the Python runner dot run file. All right, so this is basically what we are doing right here. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, we want to come down here. And I think I'm just going to concatenate this on here. So I'm just going to do plus uh, Python forward slash log names. No reason to get all fancy for now. And then we want to do the Python uh, runner dot uh, run file, and then you just pass in that path to the file, like so. Let's go back to Unity and test that out. All right, so let's select this guy. Let's clear our console and uh, launch a Python script. And it said we didn't find the file because I am missing a forward slash there. So let's put that in there. There we go. Try that one more time. There you go. So now we're launching the Python script using Python for Unity. So hopefully you guys found that uh, somewhat instructional. I know it's quite a bit of steps there. Uh, this is definitely still a very, very preview package, but I'm really excited because then what I want to do is I want to hook up uh, Houdini with Unity so I can just start passing stuff back and forth and not really have to rely on the Houdini engine all the time. All right, so super cool stuff. Thanks so much.